What's up guys, Jake here, welcome to another set ice with Jake and just in that every episode we're going to open a case first but that will have to wait for a little bit because I want to explain a little bit what's going on because exactly one year since today, one year ago uh, so 28th of May 2015 this channel was created so it has been a wild journey I've not been uploading for that long even then and it's been a huge break and gap in the middle but I just love recording videos so much and the thing is I just have not been able to have time so this summer hopefully I can get back on track like I used to do but these videos like Saturdays with Jake are not going to be that often as I used to say I would do but for now I'm just going to do the room tour so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's continue. So let's first get started opening our case and I've got my lovely case right here going to go for the shadow case because I really like what's in it. I really want to get like that USPS but probably not so let's just go ahead and look what's in. Three, two, one, let's go! I don't dare, come on, should I? Okay, just waste the money, why, why the fuck not? Uh, let's see what we get, we get, we get, oh my god, that is beautiful. What condition would it be? What condition? Oh, that looks pretty neat. Let's quickly go ahead and go to my inventory. Uh, where is it? Uh, oh, there. Oh, minimal wear. How lovely. Very nice. But for the rest, we're going to just go and continue the room tour. And just after this little clip, I'll be having a little bit more of the specifications of my setup. So just enjoy. So let's start with the peripherals. Uh, you can see pretty much all on the screen, but I'll just quickly go over them. So I have the keyboard, the Razer Black Widow Ultimate uh, Stealth, which has the uh, enhancement kit from Razer, which is like rubbery rings you can put under the keycaps so that they'll be softer and more silent, I guess. And they are, so I'll just type a little bit. You might hear the Windows sound, but the typing is probably not hearable. Definitely combining it with a good microphone, the Samsung 3 CR3U. It's just a very good combination. Then I also have the uh, Razer Ouroboros as a mouse, which has been great. Might make a review on that as well because just I'm so happy with it. It just looks fantastic. It's so customizable with the extra side pads. Uh, the battery life is insane. It's 12 hours of continuous gaming, and between you just put it on the stand. And for everyone who's saying like wireless, that sucks because there's a delay. There is no difference between this mouse and just a regular mouse. Besides, that you have a lot more freedom. For the sound, I have a speaker system, which is the uh, Logitech C623 with a subwoofer just left of my computer and my desk, and two little uh, set stands in the left and the right between the monitors, which are producing decent sound for a very nice price. So look them up if you want to. And then I have a headset as well, which is the Razer Time at 7.1, which is like one one of the few actual 7.1 gaming headsets because most of them are virtual and it's not, I'm not saying like that's better for you because a lot of games are not optimized for 7.1 sound but the games that are is just very very nice addition. Then I also have two mouse pads I really needed for that because the left one I had first and I used it just the regular keyboard on the left mouse on the right but I started pulling the mouse pad more and more to the right because I was lowering my sensitivity in Counter-Strike uh, to do better aiming and sorry for that sound vacuum cleaner sorry guys but um and the right side i have the razor large one which is a recent edition so i can actually just put my mouse on that i've put my sensitivity a little bit higher because i'm not that trying to get that good anymore i'm just playing more for fun rate lately and in the middle and under the middle monitor you can see the steam controller which i did a review on a couple weeks ago uh which has been a very lovely edition as well then I also have a Razer Orb Weaver, the game pad from Razer, but it's not currently used. It should be why the headset is right now, but that's because just I don't have any time to go ahead and play RPG games that I like to do. Because just it takes a lot of time and I don't have that. Uh, then let's go ahead and... Oh no, there's one of this. Forgot those, I almost forgot about them. So we have the two 
uh, Ben Q Martyrs, the middle one and the right one, and the Phillips one on the left, which is going to be replaced by a Ben Q as well in the future, uh, when I have some more money. I have enough, but I don't want to waste it all instantly. But the thing is, uh, the middle one and the right one are 144 hertz, and they're the Ben Q XL 2411. And the middle one is the Z one, so 2411Z, and the right one is the T one. And the left one is just a really old one, which is going to replace, like I said. So let's continue with the specs for the computer. So, as you can see, my computer is just down below right on my desk. I, ha I used to have it on, on top of my desk, but it's just a tiny bit too loud, and you could hear the fan spinning uh, in the microphone, which I didn't really like, so I just put it there, which is a really nice position. And I have like a kind of decent cable management, it's not perfect, but well, you can't really see it from on top of you, so that's uh, the most important part. But let's quickly go over the specs. Uh, my graphics card is a GTX 780 Ti overclocked by ASUS, and my motherboard is the ASUS X99A, I think it's the regular one, it's not the premium thing. And then I have um, the Intel i7 5820K. Uh, just not overclocked. Maybe I'll do that after warranty, but I don't want to risk anything. And I have about 16 gigs of RAM, DDR4, which is nice, and a 750 watt power supply for kind of storing stuff. I have two SSDs, one 128 gig one uh, for Windows and standard like Photoshop and everything. And I have uh, one 256 gig one for games. Then I have a one terabyte hard drive for YouTube recordings and an external hard drive with all my backups, uh, files and everything on it. Uh, the case is the Antec 902 and it's water cooled by a Corsair H100i GT series, which is also very nice. Cable management is not too big and there should be some lights inside, but they're broken at the moment, which is just sadly, but yet again it's great because the cable management is absolutely horrible which I will be fixing sometime soon, but I'll make a video on that probably, so hang on for that. Before I forget to say it, one thing I forgot to mention in the previous picture is the uh, the monitor stand, which is made by myself, me and my dad made it, and it's just been a great project, I might make a little separate video on that as well, just because how, how I did it, and maybe for like a little bit of a guide for people to do it themselves. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me if you like the beginning of the video. I put a lot of work in it, so any feedback is appreciated. One thing I just would like to say, if, if you dislike the video because you don't like it, then leave some feedback why, because I really want to improve my videos. If you just like it in general, then leave a like, and talk to you guys later. Jake out.